Children are the future of our nation, but in order for them to take their place in the future, they need us now. This is why Zurich has embarked on a journey for our children. A journey for them to eat right, to play right, in partnership with one goal. In 2012, the Ministry of Health reported that 25% of our Malaysian school-going children are overweight or obese. On the other hand, 16.1% of all Malaysian children are underweight. This means that malnutrition is a real problem. Something has to be done and something has to be done right now. Eat Right to Play Right is a partnership between our company, Zurich Insurance Malaysia and One Goal Malaysia with the objective of increasing the nutritional status of our children here in Malaysia. Using football as a platform, the program aims to improve the awareness of good nutrition amongst our children and at the same time increase the levels of their physical activity from where they are today. If it wasn't for football, I would be on the streets. Football has helped me to stay away from drugs and crime. I'm really happy to see that we have a program that will help children make better use of their time as well as to teach them about a healthier and nutritional lifestyle. Good nutrition is essential in building a solid foundation for football players. The journey to greatness starts with you. Join us on this journey as we work together to end child malnutrition and obesity. Help our children eat right to play right for a better tomorrow. I'm Koshong and I support Eat Right to play right. I'm K. Ruben and I support Eat Right to play right. Kami dari Pasukan Harimau Muda dan kami sokong Eat Right to play right. Kami dari Zuri Insurance Malaysia dan kami sokong Eat Right to play right. I'm Deborah Henry and I support Eat Right to play right. Hello, hello and welcome back on Brahma Today. You're still with me, Elena Abdullah. And in the studio, we are speaking to Mr. Phil Smith. He's, of course, the CEO of Zurich Insurance Malaysia, Berhad. Hello and welcome, Phil. How are you Good doing Morning, Elena. I'm fine. How are you? Fantastic to have you on the show. And Thanks. earlier, we got a chance to have a look at uh, one of the programs that Zurich has embarked on. And of course, that was a CSR project. But we'll get to that in a bit. Sure. Before we speak about the projects that Zurich has embarked on, let's talk about Zurich itself the brand. Now tell us about the history of Zurich Insurance in Malaysia. Uh, when did Zurich first venture into the Malaysian market? This is a long story so I'll have to keep it very brief okay. here. Um, Zurich had a joint venture in Malaysia mm -hmm. until 2011. Right, okay. Uh, we came in under our own name Zurich Insurance in 2011 mm -hmm. so we're quite young right. despite the appearance of the CEO. We're only, <laughs> we're only, we're only, we're only five years I'm sure old. I'm have plenty of experience <laughs> that comes with that you know experience. Yeah, so <laughs> we're five years old on the 30th of September so we'll be cutting a big uh, we'll be cutting a big cake there. Okay. Um, I think people are getting aware of us. Yes. People are starting to know yes. us more now. Yes. Um, obviously a lot of people in the market a lot of our competitors have been here a lot longer. Yes. We've been going in Switzerland since 1872 wow. but in Malaysia since 2011. So we're young, we're energetic, we're mm -hmm. fun and we're dynamic and we play a lot of football. But of course <laughs> it comes with heritage and, yes, and yes. a lot of football yes. and I see that uh, we'll come to that in a bit you know Good. hold on to your horses. <laughs> Uh, now, I think uh, one of the questions that we have uh, in this is uh, talking about Zurich Insurance uh, choosing to enter the competitive market of Takaful, uh, uh, well, Takaful market in Malaysia. Now, why? We bought um, MAA Takaful 30th of June this year. Right. So, if Zurich Insurance is only five years old, Zurich Takaful is only five minutes old. <laughs> um, okay. And it was renamed to Zurich Takaful only last month. Right. So this is very new. This is very new for us. The basic thinking behind this is is Malaysia, much as we love it, is not the biggest country in Asia. We of have course. thirty. We have thirty thirty one million people, all yes. of whom are very special. Yes. But Indonesia We'd has. Like to think so. <laughs> <laughs> Indonesia has near you know, two hundred and fifty million. India has one billion plus, and China well off the scale. Yeah. So what that means for us is that we have to offer goods, services, products that can appeal to a very broad geographical, demographic and age segment of the population. Okay. 30 million people, we cannot afford only to appeal to uh, a part of that population. We yeah. have to be able to provide propositions that are attractive to the whole population. Okay. Therefore, we want to be in every geography, every segment, every group. Okay. And that means we need an insurance license and we need a Takaful license. Right. The other thing about Zurich is that we offer life insurance mm -hmm. and we offer general insurance. Okay. So we've got four engines really. Right. Life insurance, life insurance? 
general, general insurance, family Takaful, right. and general Takaful. Right. All under one simple brand called Zurich. That is, uh, that is exciting and fun and, and energetic, I heard earlier. But it's, Im it's, it's important to remember that Zurich is an insurance and Takaful brand. Mm -hmm. It's not a tourist authority for a city in Switzerland. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> now, uh, I, I understand that uh, you can share with us the integration process to date and what's next in terms of strategies for uh, Zurich Takaful. I think with, with integration, which is not an overnight process, it's okay. an 18-month, two-year process, there's, th there's three things we do. Mm. Um, to be part of the Zurich family, you have to satisfy certain conditions and certain standards. Okay. For example, you have to be blue. Okay. okay. Everything in Zurich is blue. Now that does not mean <laughs> what that. What does we that mean? <laughs> well, it does not mean that we have to support Chelsea for okay. sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it means our corporate colour is blue. Our advertising is blue. You'll have seen on the video that that uh, our ambassador Deborah Henry was wearing blue. Yes. So you know a lot of blue going on. Okay. Uh, we can't keep the name MAA Takaful. Obviously, it's it's now Zurich Takaful. Okay. There's all sorts of um, things that we do as a Zurich family. The way we report our finances. The way we develop our culture, the way um, that our people behave and act, our attitude towards CSR and these things. So the first part of integration is to bring what was MA Takaful, now Zurich Takaful, to be part of the Zurich family. Right. Clearly not only that, but there's a financial impact here. Mm -hmm. We want to work together, the two companies to work together to provide a consistent and seamless service across the four engines that I spoke about. So it doesn't matter if you buy a family Takaful product in Kotabaru or a conventional general product in Alustar, you get the same level of service, you get the same brand support behind uh, behind everything that, that, that we do. Right. And the third part, of course, is that um, you know, Zurich in Switzerland has paid a certain amount of money for this uh, for this company, and I guess sooner or later it's going to want to return on it. <laughs> so we have to work hard on the financials here as well. Right. So just in case any of our shareholders are watching, we're very <laughs> we're very very focused on that. Focused on uh, turning a profit, <laughs> so you know, don't worry exactly. about that. But no. we're here. It's it's a long term business. Yeah. yeah. It's a long term business. So we're not we're not interested in buying and selling companies quickly. We're not interested yeah. in you know taking cash out of the company overnight. This is a long term investment that, right. that Zurich has. I think you spoke on a point that I wanted to touch on or, or you know, follow up on in, in terms of consistency because that's key in terms of when uh, somebody buys into a brand. That's why you trust the brand uh, yeah. because it promises a certain kind of uh, delivery. You have an, a certain expectation. How do you maintain that, like you said, in Alusta, in Kota Baru and you know, in wherever part of the country that you choose to buy Zurich Insurance? What is the plan in place? It's, it's, it's a tricky one because yeah. we're not selling iPhones. You know? Exactly. You know, it you looks the same yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Um, you know, we, we ask you for a lot of money and we give you a piece of paper and a promise. Exactly. That's a tough sell. Exactly. That is a very tough sell. So How do you to I'd like to know <laughs> the secrets of that? So you give us money every year and then we promise you some money back in 20 years' time. Yeah. That's a tough sell. Yeah. Yeah? It is. And that's why our brand, our standing, our status, our reputation is everything to us. Because right. we're not selling you an iPhone. We're not selling you a car. Yeah. There's nothing to There's take nothing away tangible. except a piece of paper yes. and a promise. Right. And we have to persuade you that we're going to deliver on that promise in 15, 10, when the time comes. 20 years' time. Maybe it's tomorrow. Who, yes. kno who knows? Correct. But we have to be there for when our customers need us, right. irrespective of where and when. Right. And we can only develop that reputation over time mm -hmm. by the quality of our people, the quality of our service, and our financial standing, which means that when you do come to us and say, you owe me money now, we're there with a, we're there with a check for you. There you go. <laughs> the trust needs to be built, I guess. You know, totally. That, hence, totally. and you know, we're talking about the, the history of why it's important to know where you guys come from and where you guys are headed and what your plans are and whether or not we can put our in, we can invest our trust in that exactly. company in that sense so um, I understand that you know a, as part of plans to be able to you know uh, expose the uh, our market to the brand Zurich and to be able to build that trust uh, you mentioned uh, about uh, advertisements of course we have various platforms uh, there's branding exercises the communication exercises across uh, various platforms and I believe that this plays a role in marketing this brand called Zurich uh, which of course I I mean a lot of people may not have heard of it but a lot of people have have started hearing about it as well, so that's a good thing. And uh, tell me, uh, tell us more about this ongoing Zurich program called uh, for those who truly love. What's that about? It's a bit of a strange one, isn't it? I mean, okay. you know, we're, our company is Swiss, mm -hmm. so we have a reputation of being solid. 
-hmm. financially strong, yes. a little bit boring, you know, obviously. <laughs> which is good for which an is, insurance company. <laughs> thank you. <I'll>, uh, <laughs> I won't disagree with you right. on that one. But, you know, we need, to be, we need to be solid. We need to not be massive risk takers because we need to look after the money for the customers so that it's there when they, when, when they need it. Yes. We started the campaign, and it's a, it's a global campaign called For Those Who Truly Love, which tries to put a little bit more emotion into an emotion-free subject like right. insurance. Okay. So why do people buy insurance? Maybe it's for their car, maybe it's for their family, maybe it's for their property, but it really focuses around what they truly love. Right. Some people love their family, some people love their wife or husband, some people love their car more than their wife or husband. <laughs> we, all, we all know we these things. We don't judge. <laughs> we don't judge. <laughs> but whatever you love, come to us and we'll help you protect it and manage your manage your risk right on, okay on so so hence the that was the idea behind for for those who truly love uh, and you would of course look for Zurich because that's the best way to protect what you exactly. truly love exactly and it is a global campaign so you can go to UK you can go to Spain you can go to Australia and you will see a pregnant lady with an umbrella and of course it's a blue umbrella ah <laughs> there you go so think blue think, think Zurich. blue so you know you will see Australian, you will see a Malaysian school bus on the on the Malaysian uh, advert. So it's it's tailored for each country, but it's a very consistent campaign across the world that said is, is insurance is there to help people protect the things and the people that they truly love. Now tell us a little bit more what what's in store, what's next uh, for Zurich. I, I know uh, you said that you're young, yeah, you're five years on, on um, you are starting to uh, well bond or interact with the, the market, the locals, and we're, we're just um, getting to know you guys as well, and hopefully you know, uh, we'll be able to find out a little bit more. Uh, and I th we saw earlier that there was the collaboration with One Goal, uh, and those are uh, some grassroots efforts uh, with working on football as well. Uh, and of course, um, I, I can't help but of course ask, you seem to be a huge fan of football. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, tell tell us about that. You know, um, what is it about football? And well, I have to I have to say that you know the fact that our CSR program is embedded in football is nothing to do with my <laughs> personal <laughs> okay. likes. Okay, disclaimer here. Disclaimer. Just absolute disclaimer <laughs> about this. But right. Um, Zurich runs a foundation based in Europe, okay. um, which takes in a percentage of Zurich's profits and allocates it to CSR programs around around the world. And we have to compete for funding right. with with all the other I'm countries sure. in the world. Yeah. So we were very pleased when you know we were one of the first Asian countries to extract money from these guys in Switzerland. Which I'm sure is not easy. It's fun, but <laughs> it's not easy. So we took four million ringgit from them to okay. start a campaign called Eat, Ri Eat Right to Play Right, yeah. which is all about child nutrition. Okay. Uh, it's not actually about football. Football is just an element right. in it. Okay. Um, but it, it works on both sides. It works on exercise and nutrition, because mm -hmm. we know that some children are overfed, some children are underfed, some children are under exercised, so it focuses on all of those things and it's really an educational program. Mm -hmm. You may have seen uh, Kay Rubin kicking a football around there, yeah. but it's actually Football is a tool here yep. to get to the aim of improving the nutrition and the health of, uh, of the children here. Not just in KL, really right, right around the country. Four-year program, we're very, we're very proud of it. So it started this year? Started last year. Started, started last year? Started last year. So oh. we're, in, we're still in year one. Okay. Um, we've got commitment from Switzerland for a four-year program. All right. And obviously, if it's successful, we'll be back there with, uh, with, with our applications for more. Sounds <laughs> fun. Now, we'll, we want to talk a little bit more about that in, uh, in more detail but we'll take a short breather right okay. now. Uh, we'll come back after this short break. Stay with us. Hello, hello. Thanks for staying with us. You're still with me, Lena Bla, and in the studio and speaking to Mr. Phil Smith, CEO of Zurich Insurance Malaysia Berhad. Um, thanks for still being here with us, no uh, Phil. We were talking earlier about, of course, the global campaign that you guys managed to get funding from Zurich. Uh, this is the Eat Right to Play Right, and it's in conjunction, of course, with the Global Community Week when it started, I believe. Um, and there are, of course, uh, this 
came about simply because of wanting to improve the nutrition for children. Now, there were statistics that we saw earlier in the earlier clip about almost 25% of children are uh, in the category of obese. And that's a worrying trend. And how is it that, you know, what's, what's the idea in terms of uh, Zurich's involvement with this? Well, I think if you, if you come right back to the basics of insurance, mm. insurance is about managing risk. Right. Okay? The risk of having an accident, the risk of falling ill, the risk of not being able to work, the risk of somebody crashing into your car. It's all about managing your risk. Yeah. Now, in terms of health, there's two ways of managing risk. You can lead a poor lifestyle and then you can insure your hospital bills. Right. Yeah? <laughs> Interesting, expensive and no fun. Yes. Or you can exercise and eat well and never go to hospital in the first place. Okay. So obviously insurance is the first one mm -hmm. where we wait for you to go to hospital and then we pay your bill. Yeah. But there is another way of managing your risk which is more preventive, mm -hmm. which is about the right inputs, which is about exercise, diet and all the, all the things we know and don't particularly like, right. which helps you maintain your health and never go into hospital in the first <laughs> place. Take another example on this one which is uh, flooding. Yes. Okay. So two ways of managing your risk on flood. Yeah. You don't do anything. You wait until January. It rains. Your house floods. You make a claim to your insurance company. Yes. Okay. okay. Alternatively, yeah. you can take some preventive flood measures before it rains okay. and build up the necessary defences against floods. Then you never need to call on insurance. Right. So because we are about managing risk, mm -hmm. we try to work both ends. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for example, in Indonesia, we do a lot on flood prevention. Right. Yeah. And in Malaysia, we've decided to target our CSR work at children's health right. so that they grow up much healthier, their exercise, their diet is good, so they don't get into some of these difficulties as a result of obesity, yep. they don't have to go in the hospital and then they don't have to claim on insurance. Some people would say it's silly because then they don't need insurance exactly. and so we're shooting ourselves <laughs> in the foot. Yeah. We are about managing risk at, okay. at, at both ends. Right. So we're there to help them understand their risk at the beginning and then help them solve any problems if they haven't managed it properly. Right. Yeah. It sounds a little bit counterintuitive, but <laughs> I think uh, it is not. For, for me, I, I see it as well as um, uh, even though I have insurance, for example, it doesn't mean that I want to spend my time in a hospital. Sure. That That's just an an insurance debt. safety net safety net just in case because you can never insure yourself against all possibilities uh, okay. of diseases or whether you'll get into an accident or fall sick for being exposed to certain things in an environment uh, there's only so much we don't live in a bubble right so hence there is that card that I could call on just yeah, in case. Exactly. Yeah. So however, however good your diet and exercise are. Exactly. <laughs> because I've, we've heard of stories of people who live, live great healthy lifestyles, run, don't smoke, you know, does all sorts of exercise. But the next day you hear that they've fallen uh, exactly. ill and they've got a heart attack. They but need their insurance. Yeah. Genetically, some things cannot be reversed Is as it? well. There are problems, right? So hence the idea of, you know, ensuring the next generation to be healthier, to be more productive and creating well, a better Malaysia, hopefully, exactly. <laughs> in the long run. <laughs> a small contribution, but an important one in terms of education for, for, Hence, for children. Yes, and the economy, because we need the economy yeah. to continue growing. The fact uh, that it's connected with football, I have to stress, is pure coincidence. <laughs> Which is great. I mean, you know, being in the outdoors is fantastic. Um, now, could we just uh, find out a little bit more about yourself in terms of where you started off in the industry? Uh,